Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about whether you should or should not get a master's in data science. Ultimately, it totally depends on your own situation, but if you ask me the specific question of should I get a master's degree so I can land a data science job, my answer is a resounding no. Let's dive into it. So what are some reasons on why you should get a master's degree in data science or engineering? There's a few good reasons. One is if you're dramatically looking to actually switch careers. So if you're currently not working in the data science field at all, uh, then I think it's a good idea. The second is if you actually want to learn the fundamentals of data science. Lots of people don't actually know a lot of the theory behind data science and machine learning, and so getting a master's can also help. And the third is also if you actually enjoy structured learning and you're good at school. Uh, and as a person who's not good at school, maybe I have a predisposed bias, so I'll list that right now. All of those are valid reasons for why you should get a data science master's. The decision is actually different when your goals change for getting a master's because you want a data science job. Why is this the case? Well, first, let's look at some data. Hanif Samad wrote a blog post about what a data scientist's background looked like statistically. And out of a sample of 869 data scientists on LinkedIn, he found that 73% of data scientists actually had degrees beyond a bachelor's. This meant that basically three-fourths of all existing data science had at least a master's, if you can extrapolate that out from his sample. And yet the sample and the study uh, that he did is actually a little bit misleading to the actual statement of should you get a master's to get a data science job, because it's actually only tracking the successes. It's not actually tracking the number of people who got a master's degree in data science and then ended up not being able to get a data science job. Nor does it track the metrics we care about, which is the number of people that wanted a data science job but could not obtain one and therefore decided to get a master's to achieve that goal and then actually got a data science job. Does that make sense? So the truth of most master's and higher education programs is that their goals are not always aligned to job placement. Academic programs and boot camps teach fundamentals and then advertise job placement for marketing purposes because that's what motivates people to actually sign up and pay the really expensive tuition fees. However, most placement rates can actually be extremely misleading given that any sort of job placement after graduation, whether in a data science field or not, can be used to increase this number. And so many times, a lot of academic programs will go out of their way to ask their alumni if they got any kind of job after graduation. Another reason why I don't totally love data science master's degrees is because they're actually very saturated now. While the data science masters might have been widely regarded a few years back, there are now a record number of masters of data science programs now in the US. Last I counted, there was 100 plus masters in data science programs with new ones being generated each year. A lot of the times due to the demand from actual people in their state, around the universities, or just in general that are interested in data science programs which is all great and we want more people in master's programs. But if you actually want a data science job, then it might not actually be worth the cost. Because if you think about what it takes to get a data science job, many times it's actually twofold, right? It's the ability to pass a resume screen and then it's an ability to pass the interview. And so you get the master's degree because it allows you to pass the resume screen. But now because it's so saturated, a lot of people aren't actually using a master's in data science to certify a quality level for hiring. If I were to look at two people's resumes and one person had a master's degree in data science without any experience, and then the second person had a data science internship but just had a bachelor's, I'd definitely call the person with a data science internship instead because I value experience way more than education. While other people may not have the same judgment like me, you can bet that I feel like the majority of people would also choose a person with industry experience already. My piece of advice if you actually want to get a master's is that you should do it because you actually want to inherently learn about the subject of data science and actually improve your own knowledge around. A master's is exactly what it sounds like. It's a mastery in the field. But a master's does not equate to actually guaranteeing a job. Get this in your head. A master's does not mean a guaranteed job afterwards. Now, I wanna tell you guys how should you actually get a data science job. And I think that if you're on the fence and you're trying to figure out what you need to do to get that next data science job, you should think about the 50K that you spent on a master's program as an investment vehicle into building to yourself to achieving this data science job that you want. If you're a person that doesn't know any data science and wants a data science job, then that 50K should probably go into an educational resource 
course to build your foundational knowledge. And then it might be actually very useful to get a master's. But if you're a person who already knows some data science or has a bachelor's degree in data science or something similar and has been playing around with it, then maybe it's worth investing that money elsewhere. Ultimately, my biggest recommendation is to find a tangential data job that allows you to perform duties required of data science tasks. If you have the option of switching into a data analyst or business intelligence job or getting a job that is kind of data science related but not completely, then I highly advise you to do it because one to two years afterwards, you can use that foundational experience to then build your resume for an actual data science job later. Not only that, but you also get work experience and you learn a lot from other data scientists that might be on your team as well. And that in itself is not something that you can really put a price on. Thirdly, you're actually making money at the same time instead of incurring potentially student debt or just paying out your ass for something that maybe you're not actually gonna use in the future. Overall, I'd say data science masters, great if you wanna learn. I think there's some great programs out there, Georgia Tech being one of them. In general, I don't actually think that it's a surefire way to actually land you a job. I think getting a master's also helps, but at the same time, so does doing something as simple as watching data science YouTube videos where you can like and subscribe right here. Just kidding guys, but in general, just know that if you want a data science job, there's a lot of ways around it besides investing a lot of time and a lot of money into a master's program. There are other structured programs out there. There's mentorships. And if you're interested in learning more, I'd love to actually call and connect with some of you guys to figure out what we could provide to help you land your data science job next. So please check out this form below and I will talk to you guys later. And please comment, like, subscribe, add anything that you would like to hear or any questions that you have. Sorry it took so long to get this one out, but I love doing it. Bye guys.